Watch as we demonstrate the use of issues, discussion and team member to manage problems during project execution. We start with a blog about an issue soon to be raised by the PM. With an activity highlighted, open the discussion tab to start the chat. Select the discussion pad. Write your message to the resource. Post the message to start the chat. The new post is displayed in the discussion tab. Open the resources team member session to view the resources activities. Open the discussion window in the team member session. Write your response to the message. Post your answer. Close the discussion window. Return to the project activities page. Refresh the discussion page. Read the answer and move to the issues page. Select add an issue. In the select an issue form window, expand the project. Select an issue form. Select OK to open the form. Type a name for the issue. Select the Applies To icon. Expand the project. Expand the WBS. Select the activity associated with the issue. Select OK to close the window. Open the Date Identified window. Set the date. Select the year. Set the month. Set the day. Click Select to complete the action. Select the Resolution Date window. Set the month, set the day and then click select. Add an issue code. Issue codes can be used to group and sort. Select the issue type. Open the issue type selection. Select the type value. Click OK to set the value. Select the issue priority. Open the issue priority selection. Select the priority value. Select OK to set the value. Select Issue Criticality. Open the Issue Code selection. Select the Issue Criticality value. Click OK to set the value. Write a description of the issue. Save the changes. Expand the Issues selection. The newly created issue is now in the list. Open the Project Workspace page. Expand the Issues portlet. The Issues Portlet in the Workspace is the Project Manager's Quick Reference Centre for all project problems. Note the email function for notifications. Select Customise. In Columns, expand the General Selection. Note the Selection. Expand the Issue Codes. These are the codes that we used earlier. Select the Filter tab. Filters can be created as required. Select the Group tab. Issues can be grouped as required. Select the Chart tab. Charts can be used to display issue data. Select Save to exit. In the Issue Portlet, select Chart. Issue data is shown in chart form, in this case by priority. Select List. Open Dashboards. Dashboards provide a portfolio summary of project issues for higher level reporting. Expand the current project. Clicking on an issue link takes the user to the project workspace and opens the issue. The Open Issue page shows the full details for the issue. Open the Activities page. Highlight the activity that has the issue assigned. Click in the Discussion window. Write and post your message. Open Team Member to see the new post. On the activity, click the Discussion button. Read the new message and write your response. Post your response. Close discussion. Return to the activities page. Refresh the discussion. Read the new post. Issues are an excellent method of recording and managing project problems. Issue codes can be used to track issue seriousness and to group, sort and filter issue data. Also, issues can be assigned to resources to manage the problem. Issues are available from the Project Issue page, Project Workspace and in Dashboards for Portfolio Summaries. Use the Discussion feature to communicate with other team members for real-time action. Thanks for watching this Learning Byte. Don't forget to check out the others in our collection.
or visit training.prescience.com.au for more options to gain great real-world skills in Oracle Primavera.